Olmsted Basin International Airport opened its runways a little over two months ago with plans to keep growing. And Malik Wilson is in the studio to give us an update on how things have been going. Hi, Malik. Hey, Nicholas and Lauren. Today marked two months since the opening of the $275 million project, replacing what was before Slowland Field International Airport. The inconvenience of the old facility made it almost a no-brainer to rebuild something that could accommodate rapidly growing Williston. Due to larger runways for larger planes, Williston Basin now has the ability to serve 14,000 passengers per month, whereas before only having the capacity for 12,000. All the renovations are still being made, such as rental car locations and more lights to be added to the runway. Airport Director Anthony Dudas says this is only the beginning to where the airport's future is heading. Really focus on getting the airport operational to its new normal at that point in time. And so it's really exciting, continuing to progress. Dudas says all renovations plan to be complete by fall 2020. Lauren and Nicholas, back to you. All right, Malik, thank you very much. And for more updates on the airport, you can visit our website, kxnet.com.